Gastrointestinal cancers are very common in older adults. For example, uh, one third of patients with colorectal cancer in the community are over the age of 75. So that just shows you that it's a very significant population. And th the big issue is that there's a gap in knowledge for this population because all the evidence is coming from trials that are enrolling younger, more fit patients, and yet the diseases are more prevalent in older adults with cancer. In addition to colon cancer, pancreatic cancer, gastric cancers are very common in older adults with median ages of diagnosis in the high 60s. So even for other cancers besides colorectal cancer, there's a great need to really have geriatric oncology principles in incorporated into care. There is a very important trial that was developed um, by Seymour called the FOCUS-2 trial, which looked at uh, chemotherapy regimens in older, more frail adults with colorectal cancer for advanced disease. And what was interesting about this trial is they dose reduced the treatments up front by about 20%. So everyone started at a lower dose than that, that was recommended. And they gave the option to escalate the treatment later. And they found very few patients overall, maybe about 30% had their doses escalated. So most patients stayed at the lower dose but yet the treatments were still pretty beneficial for um, older patients with cancer. They also used a, a clinical benefit, a perceived clinical benefit endpoint, which is unique to trials and goes beyond an overall survival benefit, um, which is what uh, most trials use. And this is more pertinent for older adults where toxicity has a lot of uh, importance and outcome. And so we incorporated this trial into the website as an example for other research that should be done in geriatric oncology because of the unique study design elements and the fact that that trial really represents the standard of care for uh, treatment of older patients with cancer with advanced disease. In general, gastrointestinal cancers is a, a great area for us as a community to be passionate about geriatric oncology research. The patients are older, most of them. The treatments are toxic. It's important to really understand the effectiveness of treatments in this population. And as we get more aggressive with our treatments, for example, in pancreatic cancer, it becomes harder to understand how to best treat the older, more vulnerable and frail adults with cancer because triple drug regimens or doublet chemotherapy regimens may be too difficult for this population. For additional drugs to be added on, you know, we have to stop at, at some point and try to think of more and unique trial designs that are really targeted to the more vulnerable patient who can't even tolerate the standard of care at this point. And so this is a great uh, area for budding geriatric oncologists and trainees to really look into trying to figure out the best trial design for this population, new therapeutics for this population that are not chemotherapy related, um, that have better uh, toxicity profiles overall. And so for all GI cancers, there's a great need for uh, new and better treatments for older patients with cancer.